Hello, hello, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel and welcome to Friday Sews. It's Friday. I love Fridays. So let's chat. So Friday Sews, hate to keep explaining it if you watch them every Friday, but it's a little bit of sewing, a little bit of life, and uh, I want to be your sewing buddy. Let's be sewing buddies, all of us. If you haven't read the comments on Friday Sews, you'll find all your sewing buddies right there. <laughs> so many great people. Um, my first, I want to start with a little bit of sewing. I want to thank you, all of you, for the great reviews on my um, my latest video that I put out, which was a, a pattern review of the Estelle Ponte jacket and a sew along. So thank you for the comments. I really appreciate that. More to come like that. In fact, uh, I feel like I'm yelling. I don't think I have to yell. I've got a microphone uh, on the camera. Um, I said last Friday I was going to work on this, and I have yet to do so, but I am hoping to do a at least a review, if not a sew-along. I really uh, find those sew-alongs to be hard to put together, but at least a good review of this, and I'm hoping to do that in the next few days. But I haven't cut it out yet, so we'll see. I do want to work on that. I've just been too busy to sew. Does that happen? And you get this like itchy feeling like, ah, oh, I want to go in there. I don't want to do these things I need to do. Um, I had to get my house in order after Christmas decor and I'm working on a project with my hubby that's an annual thing that is kind of taking some of my attention and um, you know just stuff just so much so much stuff and it's like I've been itching to get in here and do what I love which is make stuff and so I had some time and I thought, what do I want to make? What's my heart's desire? What do I want to make? Because that that should be the thing every time, right? And I just didn't feel this. I wasn't feeling this. I wanted to make this. Okay, so this is this is the good version of the binder. I made my tester and it was a little too small. I was probably not accurate. I probably say that a lot, but I have a really hard time with being accurate. And so it was a little bit showing the binder right here. And... Um, also, the inspiration fabric, the beautiful fabric, was covered up by this big pocket. So I was just thinking about this binder a lot. Like I was thinking all the things I wanted it to be. And I just finished it just before this video. And I was super stoked. I think it's exactly what I had in my mind, which was a lot of the theme fabric is showing. So instead of making my theme fabric the body, I made the body this pretty aqua so that it's not the star, the star is the pocket. So that's the fabric that I really wanted to show off. And I decided to show it off two times. I made a little pocket here, and then I made a big pocket on this side. And I just had the devil of a time deciding what contrasting fabric to do. And I saw this yesterday in Joann's and I fell in love with it. I don't know why, but that's just so cute. Um, I was hoping to do like some fun zippers, but this is what I had. I had two of these, so I used them. And I definitely want to stock up on zippers to have them on hand. And I have to, I have to tell you about zippers. So I uh, used So Spire as my guide, although I did a lot of different things she's the base so I will put a link to her binder that I used to make this project to start but I did a lot of changes but hers is the base and she said um, be careful when you're sewing to make sure your zipper is in the halfway spot and I, I, I remember thinking okay I gotta remember that and then I didn't it was on so this zipper is really long and you kind of sew and then you cut it off and I was cutting and trimming and I was looking and I'm like I just cut my zipper off I just cut it off the, this the pull. I cut the pull off. And I had to open up that seam and get that zipper back on track and get it in the middle. And the other one I hadn't cut off yet. But <sighs> don't you hate when that happens because it really sidelines you and you're doing extra work that you shouldn't have had to do. Um, the other thing was before I sewed my edges, I laid my binder down to make sure that it was going to be big enough. And if anything, it's a little too big, but it's, it's fine. I'm totally fine with it. Um, I love snug, but too snug and binder shows. The other thing I did in case the binder was going to show is I covered it with fabric. See there? So let me open it up and show you. So I put a little bow and instead of this uh, small bow, I did a big fat bow out of some cotton because I love bows. And also I made my own straps. Isn't that cute? 
So I have straps and a bow. So the bow to hold it closed and the straps to carry it around. Okay, so let's open it. So this fabric I glued on and I spray glued it and that did not work because it showed a little bit of like sh it showed but when I went to do my corners I just used the glue gun and that was that's what I'll do next time I'll just I'll just lay it flat and then turn it over and glue gun the sides and that's what I'll do next time um I didn't actually take this off I just took a tiny little piece it's not even perfect a tiny little piece of this and just went right here and another right here and just stuck it in stuck it in stuck it in it's not perfect but I think it's way cuter than letting the binder show and that just makes it cute on the inside um, these are the flaps to hold it on but that would be a great place to stick paper and things I'm really excited to fill this baby up this is going to be my YouTube planner and I'm going to put a calendar and a brainstorming list and, you know, just make it a place where I write notes and things. And um, I want to make more binders. I have other ideas. I want to do one for recipes, um, a journal maybe, like a today, you know, planner. <sighs> I could make these. So I've been collecting cotton and just kind of trying to make sure I have lots. And one of the things I noticed when I sat down with this fabric is that I needed more base pieces. I love the inspiration pieces, but I needed more just like, you know, polka dot stripes, uh, solids, things like that. So I've been carrying around this and a couple other pieces and kind of finding more stuff to go with it, but I'm super stoked. I love bows, I love these colors, I just love it. I think I might have even made this longer um, to make this bow even bigger. So if I do it again, I'll probably make it about this much longer so I can have a, just not even have to worry about tying this bow. It could be nice and big. I like a big bow. So this is the home decor fabric. And I asked a lot of you what was twill. And it turns out that's probably a way you can describe it at Joann's is home decor. Because it's not indoor outdoor. Like that's really hard. And stiff this is just home decor it feels like almost like a denim -y feel and then the rest of the thing was cotton um, my base it's weird because it barely shows so if that's your beautiful fabric it's not going to show that much you know I, I did two pockets so this could be just this but I love having a second pocket so there it is that's what I did today <laughs> Um, okay, so that's my sewing. I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to work on the trench coat because I do want that. I do want that. So I'm kind of excited about it, actually. I've seen a couple of trench coats that I really liked on my Instagram feed uh, where I follow a lot of sewing people and I see all kinds of stuff on there that I want to do. And um, that's where I find a lot of stuff that I want to make. Personal, I'm ready for spring. I um, planted a bunch of tulips, my favorite flower, in my garden, and they're starting to just poke, you know, poke their little heads up. So I'm really excited about that. And um, my mom and I were, she was asking me, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, I don't really know. You know, like, uh, she's a big gardener. So I said, well, what about something for my garden, since I'm trying to get more into that? And she started talking books, and I'm like, ooh, I won't read a book. <laughs> I don't want no stinking directions. <laughs> I just want to try it, you know? So I said, how about some yard art? And so she said, how about a spinner? And I'm like, well, what is a spinner? And the next thing I know, she is texting me, spinner, 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 really pretty. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I guess they're solar and the, they collect energy and then they spin. So I said, yes. And I picked the first one was, the first one was the winner. And then she said, um, why don't you know why don't we both have one she said i think i'll just buy one for you and one for me and then we'll both have the same spinner and i said no 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 you're not supposed to buy yourself a spinner i said i will buy you a spinner and you will buy me a spinner and we'll get the same one and we'll think of each other when we're looking at our spinner so that's what we did and she was showing me a picture of where she put her spinner she's in texas and she's had winter and spring and summer <laughs> All day in one day so it's been crazy weather so she's been able to go outside whereas I've been like snow everywhere so I didn't put my spinner up so I put my spinner and I'm ready for the daffodils I'm ready for the tulips I'm ready for the flowers and um, let me just show you my spinner so this is the view right outside my sewing room window 
and it already has some tulips and daffodils in here so those flags are where I planted my new ones and some over there by my seating area too and they're starting to come up Let's see if I can find one see it I need to come out here and kind of just get out all these leaves there's a bunch of them I can't wait it's gonna be cool and there's my spinner I haven't actually turned it on. I think I'll try that. When I turned it on, I think nothing happened. Hmm. I will keep you posted. How cute is that? And we, it's like, it's like we don't usually get snow in like December. It's usually like February, March. We might get a little snow and that would be the end of it. We're not a snow area. We don't get snow all the time. So I was surprised, surprised we had to like cover up the trailer. So if you don't know, I have a camper trailer that I glamped up. It's my third one to glamp up and I have a playlist showing you how I did each one. And I'm at the tail end of this one and I was kind of just cleaning and getting ready to do my after pictures and then boom, it snowed and it was just like sitting there locked away from me, locked away. So uh, we, we got out there and um, I'm, thinking I'm going to get a Trailer Tuesday video up this coming week to show some of what we what we worked on. So that's exciting to me. And um, other than that, I'm just ready to make something. I've been busy away from this room, and this room is where I want to be. I'm sure that happens to all of us, right? I mean, we have to do other things. <sighs> I'd rather not do the things I don't want to do. I just don't want to do the things I don't want to do. And the older I get, the more I feel that way. But I have so many things I want to do in here, like I want to do some organizing, some cleaning, some decluttering, um, which I will film all of those things. I have some ideas for organization that I want to try that are just in my head and they just seem fabulous, but you know, I have to do it. And um, that's kind of what I have in mind. And now I have an organizing binder to keep myself on track. How about that? <laughs> I'm so excited to fill this up. I've already printed some calendars and I've made a YouTube um, brainstorm list. I'm ready to fill this up. So I'm excited. I've bought some paper and pens and I've got pockets to put them in. So, isn't that cute? I just love it. I want to make another one, <laughs> like right now. <laughs> so I hope you're having an awesome, awesome weekend. I hope that you get to sew and all those other things aren't calling to you and making you do those other things. And um, I guess I wanna ask a question. How about this? If it's like something you don't wanna do or sewing, how do you, what do you do? Do you, do you earn your sewing by getting those things done so that you can sew with absolute like freedom? Or do you just say, I don't want to do those things. I'm going to go sew. I'm not going to tell you which one I am. I actually am both. <laughs> Sometimes you know you have to do the thing, but I think if it was ever a choice and I didn't have to, like housework or something that I really could just procrastinate and put off, I would do that. I would put it off. So I'm in that camp. Uh, I'll only do the thing I have to do when I really have to do it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was just thinking uh, one of these for the trailer and all the manuals and stuff that I keep in a cabinet there, one of these would be great in my trailer fabric. I don't know if I have any left. I used like all of it, but that would be cute. Super cute. So I look forward to seeing your answers and thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next time. Bye now.